Hi everyone, let's look at uh, one challenging question or assumption over here. And this question is actually from a past uh, PSLE map paper. Alright, so let's go through this question. Wei Yang started a savings plan by putting two coins in a money box every day. Each coin was either a 20 cents or 50 cent coin. His mother also put in a $1 coin in a box every seven days. The total value of the coins after 182 days was $103.90. For part A, how many coins were there all together? Alright, so if you are sharp enough, you'll notice that part A is actually testing your grouping concept. Okay, why? Because for every group of 7 days, his mother will put in one extra $1 coin. Okay, so my question to you is, how many groups of 7 days are there in these 182 days? Okay, to do that, okay, you will need to take 182 divided by 7, right? You get 26 groups, okay, just nice. Alright, so there are 26 groups of 7 days, right, in these uh, 182 days. And that means that in total, there are 26 $1 coins. Okay, you know why? Right, because every 7 days, his mother put in one, $1 coin. So over 26 7 days, there will be 26 $1 coins. Alright, so how to find the coins all together? Okay, remember, right, every day, Wei Yang also put in 2 more coins, right? Right, so in 182 days, the number of coins that Wei Yang put in will be 364. Right, because uh, 182 times 2 get 364. Okay, so these will be the total coins that Wei Yang put in. And now to find the coins all together, you take 364 plus the $1 coins that his mother gave him, and you get a final answer of 390 coins. Okay, so that's for part A. Right, part A is on grouping concept. And now for part B, how many of the coins were 50 cent coins? Alright, so now we need to use assumption. Okay, why do, we do, why do we use assumption? That's because the question gives us a total value of the all the coins, but we do not know how many 20 cents and how many 50 cents are there. Alright, so let's assume. Okay, but before you assume, let's use the total amount here to minus away the $1 coin first. Right, because we know there are 26 $1 coin. Okay, so let's use this amount here to minus away the $26. Right, you'll get $107.90. And so this amount here will consist of only 20 cents and 50 cents. Make sense? Right, because you've already minus away all the $1 coin. So this amount here will only consist of 20 cents and 50 cents. Alright, so the question ask us for the number of 50 cent coin. So to find the 50 cent coin, let's assume the other way. Okay, so let's assume the 364 coins are all 20 cents. Okay, and by the way, why do we put 364 and not 390? Okay, that's because we've already minus away the 26 $1 coin, right? We are left with 364. Okay, so let's assume the 364 coins are all 20 cent coin. Okay, can you recall the steps of doing assumption? Okay, I hope you do, okay? Right, you take 364 times 20 cents, you get $72.80. Okay, then you take this minus this, right, to find a big difference. Right, you get $35.10. Okay, then you find a small difference. Right, you take 50 cents minus 20 cents, you get 30 cents. And lastly, to find a 50 cent coin, you take the big difference, the by a small difference, right, you will get 117 50 cents coins.